with your options in the phone and the stick. another video if you are new welcome make sure to subscribe and click that notifications bell so you never miss a video all right and today we're going to be doing shop icons for your shop as you can see we have this icon here that i created earlier because i was recording but we had some technical difficulty and so i gotta do it again i gotta do it again all right i gotta do it again so basically i'm gonna just, I'm gonna just show y'all how to set up like a basic sleek kind of modern icon something that's cute and attractive but it don't have too much going on at the same time you feel me so as you can see this is what it looks like when you don't have your product inside of the icon this is one of, this is what it's going to look like basically and so this is just a setup this is not the icon that i use for my shop this is something that i was creating as an example but on the side here in your layers tab your layers right here your layers okay you see logo setup you have this black layer that I'm currently selecting, which is layer 4. That is where your product will go. And then at the bottom, you have your background. And that is where you just put like a background picture behind your product. And then the logo setup is basically how you would design the aesthetics of your logo. And so I grouped them up because it's going to be a PSD file. So the first thing, you see me over here in Photoshop. We are at the very top corner. Um, it's on my left. And it's called File. And we're going to go to New. Alright, once you go to New, you're going to see New the new box all right and we're just going to name it oops sorry about that we're just going to name it icon preset i clicked that wrong icon preset uh tutorial type a little slow because my cord in the way all right and then the width i'm going to put it on 100 all right and then for your height you want to put it on 80 and make sure that your background contents right here are going to be on transparent and then you need to press OK. Now we have opened up a new project or our icon. The next thing you want to do is add some kind of border to it. This is just the way I like to create my icons. You don't have to do it this way. But, you know, it does add some kind of, you know, a sense of style. The first thing you want to do is go to select and then hit all. OK. And then the next thing you want to do is go to edit, stroke, and then stroke it by two. Whatever color you want. I'm going to use white. And then you press OK. All right. The next thing after that, you go over to your layers and where it says pick a blending mode for the layer, you're going to click on that and then select overlay. When you do that, let me just control D to deselect. That is going to um, change the way it blends on your picture. For example, you name really good. And then press the check and then move it to the top. As you can see, where the line is, where the white is, it's not a solid white. It's overlaying on top of your picture that you just put into your icon. So what you're going to do now is leave it like that if you want to leave it, you know. But I'm going to take that off for the time being. And we're going to put a background in the back. So when you're looking for backgrounds, it's really up to you. You know, I don't decide for you. But I'm going to give y'all some ideas, I guess. Um, I'm going to use one of these glitter backgrounds. They're not going to stay like this. They're not going to stay glittery. I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. All right, so I'm going to zoom out. And what I'm going to do next is go to Filter, Blur, and then Garage and Blur. And basically, I'm just going to try to blur out as much as I can of that glitter to make it look like a smooth background. Because you don't want too much going on behind your product. It will be hard to see your product, and the glitter might get most of the glory from your icon. So basically what you want to do is when you're adding backgrounds, you don't want them to be overpowering your product. You want them to enhance the view of your product, basically. I hope I'm saying this right. Anyway, I added my background and I added a nice border. Now, other things you can do to your icon is kind of spice it up with, um, I don't know. It would be good to look at icons in the shop when you're looking around and kind of, you know, play with it. But I do this all the time, but I'm going to do it again. Do it again. We're just going to put like a nice heart on the icon, okay? I don't care. Y'all can steal this, even though I do this a lot. Y'all can steal my idea if you want to. If you think a heart would be cute for your shop, then by all means, do it. I don't care. Do what works for you, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to um, kind of play with the stroke a little bit. Right now, it's on um, 1.49 point something like that and then i'm gonna add a glow so you go to your effects and your layers tab and then you click on outer glow once you go to outer glow you click on the 
this box here under blend mode structure right here go to this box and then just choose like a nice color for your glow I'm gonna do green green is a soothing color but it may not be meant for this icon so I'm gonna do like purple I wanna make sure that it's glowing really nice but it's not overpowering I don't know I try to be about balance as much as I can but I think that's because I'm a Libra now when it comes to Libras trying to have balance, we're the last people to have balance. So we're supposed to be the main people who have balance. That makes no sense to me, okay? But it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay? So, next, we're going to put the picture back to see how it looks, alright? What I'm going to do next is transform this photo to fit the icon. And the way you do that is you hit Control t Once you hit Control t oh, let me zoom out a little bit. Alright, now, Control t And basically, you want to fit your hand into the icon here. And I'm gonna just kind of play with it, you know, get it nice so I can fit it. And then filter, sharpen, to sharpen it. And then let's just see, all right? So another thing you can add is your name. You can add the year that you created this product. You can add the letter of your name, your creator name. And so what I'm gonna do here is add the letter. So I'm gonna just put A. And then I'm going to, you know, scale it down. Scale it down, please. You don't want it to be too big. Scale it down. All right. And just, I'm going to put it on like, I'm going to put it on 18. So you scale it. You scale it. All right. Scale it down. And then kind of play with the size a little bit because you do want it to be recognizable. I'm going to put it right here. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did to the border. We're going to overlay it. And then stroke. And then drop shadow if you want to. And then press OK. Alright, now, another thing that you could do is drop the shadow on the actual product that you're putting into your icon. When you actually, you know, set up your icon to submit it to shop, you know, submit your whole product to shop. And you want to add, like, an emphasis on your product. You can drop the shadow on the product. So you do the same thing. Click on the picture of your product. Go to effects. Drop shadow. And then kind of play with the distance a little bit and press OK. OK. Next, we're going to group everything together. Right? Right. So now, I'm going to do this my way that I group. And that is going to be by adding a little bit of sections. And by the sections that I'm going to add, I'm just going to click New Layer. OK. And click on both of these by holding Control on your keyboard and then clicking the layers you want to select at the same time. Then you're going to go to group from layers and then you're going to name the group. So we're going to name this background. Right click on the group now and you're going to color it whatever color you want. So I'm going to color the background red. And then the next thing you want to do is break it again. I'm going to leave this layer for here for a reason because that is just going to tell you, you know, place your image here. And I might put that on this icon. Anyway, we're going to select all of these, right? Okay. And then we're going to um, do the same thing. Go from there. Logo. Stop. Boom. Next, you're going to color it. Whatever color you want, we're going to do green. Now, I'm going to just put place, place your image here. All right. And then I'm going to take this off. And this is your icon, which is reusable for anything. Now, if y'all want to uh, use this again, make sure you tune into this last part really good. Very simple, but make sure you know this. Go to File, and then Save. Save. Make sure you have chosen a place where you want this to be saved. I'm going to go to Creating, then I'm going to go to Icons, and save it where all of my icon projects are. PSDs, my icon PSDs. I got different PSDs for different collections, different sets of products that I make. So you're gonna save it. And then where it says maximize comp compatibility, yes, I like that. Cause it don't, you know, I don't see no difference. Press okay. Now you have a saved PSD. Make sure you know where you're saving your projects at all times. Please be intentional of where you save your projects. 
It will save you tons of time and effort, and you're not losing your mind. You're calm, collected, and you have everything together. You know where it is. You know what you're doing. All you gotta do is take a screenshot, open your project, put your picture, and save for web. Because that's what I'm showing y'all next. I'm giving y'all bonuses now. This is your bonus. So the next thing you wanna do is save this picture. You already save for web. All right, file, save for web. And then you save it however you wanna save it. PNG. If you got a moving icon, you save it as a GIF. If you're not moving, you save it as a JPEG. JPEG would probably be better, especially if it's not a transparent, you know, picture. I mean, you could do a PNG. I mean, it really doesn't matter in my opinion. I don't see the difference. But you have options, basically. So you do that. You save it. All right, save. Then save it where you want to save it, you know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do my thing. Go here. Go here. Go here. Save. Boom. Now you got your icon. You can put your, you put your icon when you submit your product. You got a nice, pretty picture. And then if you got more than one set of um, whatever you're making, it's gonna look clean and it's gonna look pretty and you know just uh, look at different works of art that are in the shop that's all i can give you for right now you can even take a look at my shop if you like my icons tons of people do say they like my icons though maybe i'm just the only one who's a harsh critic on myself but that's just me all right and so here's the real bonus i seen this um comment not too long ago in my last tutorial they were asking um, about placements. Alright, so the, basically they said they didn't know how to add it as a layer. And I'm going to show you two ways on how to do this. Alright, so the first way is going to be... Make sure you go to File and look for Place, which should be under Revert. It's going to be Place. Then you would just select the picture that you want to place. And I'm going to just, you know, select this and then Place. Now you've placed the picture onto your project. All right, that's one way to do it. The next way is, say you have something like this, right? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna save this real quick. Then I'm gonna go to open. And then I'm gonna just go find it again. All right. Right here, open. Now, another way to place a certain picture is to do what I just did there. Open it in Photoshop and then grab, make sure that the layer is selected. Grab it, pick it up, and go to the other project that you're working on and bring it into the project and just move it to fit the project. All right, that's your bonus. Just leave in the comments what you would like to see more of from me. In the comments, all right, make sure you go down there and say something. You know, I will read it. I will love it. And I will consider it, all right? I am very open to new ideas. And I will try to execute them to my best ability. And if I do not like it, I will redo it again and again and again. Like I just did this video because I recorded this for the third time. So, here we are. And here it is. Thank you guys for watching this video so much. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Never too famous to beat a bitch ass, still will do. She got a fatty, but she don't even know how to make that shit.